here's my lettuce update. I've got the Raspberry Pi connected to it, um, being used as a monitor. It works pretty well. Um, here's the Raspberry Pi. It goes to an HDMI to VGA converter and then goes into the monitor. I've also replaced the Arduino Uno with an Arduino Nano. It's uh, going to take up less real estate and to give me more room to fit more stuff in there. Um, this is the res <clears throat> sorry the um, Arduino that spits out the EDID information. I had to turn that off. It was causing you know the monitor to blink for whatever reason, but we don't need it uh, because all you have to do on the Raspberry Pi is configure the config.txt file that is in the boot directory uh, to the resolution and <clears throat> refresh rate of the iMac G3. And so here, I'm going to show you now. I'm going to turn it on and off here. and there's the desktop. It looks good. It's sharp, it's crisp. I'm happy with the results. <clears throat> Let me open up a terminal here. And so now I'm gonna run DOSBox like Dan uh, suggested. I saw that earlier, runs fine. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Well, let's see. To okay, did I do that right? Nope. Hold on a second. I need a space in here. There we go. And drive C and I'm gonna run this guy here a second. Oh. Okay. Woo! You can see that. Anyways, I have King's Quest. Okay. That works well. It's pretty cool. My next step now is to use the I squared C lines on the Raspberry Pi and um, turn on the monitor that way. And that way we don't need an Arduino. Um, I can do that. Um, only thing is you won't see the boot sequence when you first plug it in. It should only activate after it sends the I squared, the uh, iPad initialization code after it boots in. But uh, I'll work on that some more later. But uh, so far, so good. It's looking nice.